Hello, Leo. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Um, people ask me to do uh, personal readings again, so I'm going to do them for a while. Uh, if you want a personal reading, you can just directly email me. The email address will be below this video in the description box below. So, Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Extra message. Very important. This is you trying to manifest something. Oh, you feel so devastated, heartbroken over your relationship. This is you trying to cope with this situation the best that you can. Uh, this is enormous burden on you emotionally to feel this heartbreak i'm so sorry you're going through so much leo this is you trying to do something about this heartbreak you're feeling to make yourself feel better um yeah you're dealing with this situation the best that you can you absolutely devastated heartbroken that this relationship did not work out you feel you've done everything in your power to make it work yeah your back is turned towards this situation. You're trying to move on with your life. Yeah, you're trying to distract your mind with your job or work. Uh, you are showing up as very creative, very talented, attractive, charismatic, concentrating on uh, your finances right now, your job, your income, your business. Yeah, you miss them, but you're trying to distract yourself, not miss them that much. Uh, but you miss them a lot. You miss this person. You feel that they didn't meet you halfway. They they didn't really communicate or reciprocate in this relationship. Well, you're going through a lot, Leo. I'm so sorry you're going through so much emotionally. You know, please show us. You're trying not to show that you feel heartbroken because your back is turned towards this energy. You're trying on the outside to be very tough, strong, not to show that you are emotionally affected, but you are deeply emotionally affected. You just don't want to show it on the outside. This is you being very stoic. Let's see. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you are excellent at what you do. You are admired. It looks like whatever it is you do for a living, whatever your job is or business is, you have a lot of admirers. People view you as talented, uh, attractive, alluring, like people are drawn to you. Yeah, you're trying to not feel these emotions. You're trying to kind of pick yourself up emotionally, uh, do things to pick you up. Yeah, you view yourself as available, not in a relationship with that person at this time. Yeah, you're concerned about your finances, like you want to make sure that moving forward, you're going to continue being um, success, um, that you're going to continue... Uh, being, mm, uh, what's the word, uh, balanced financially. That person has a lot of pride that you're letting go of. They're showing up here as an emperor, attractive, alluring, very good at what they do, admired by people, but the two of you had some serious disagreements. You see this? And it's on their mind. Like the two of you really need to make amends to at least be on peaceful grounds with each other, not have any animosity towards each other. You worry sometimes too much what other people think. This is you kind of worrying, feeling like you have to explain yourself or explain your breakup or explain your relationship. You always feel on guard. 
Like you have to defend yourself, explain yourself, look over your shoulder. Yeah, this is you concentrating heavily on your job, business, income, finances. You're also researching a lot online. Like you're trying to find things out online. Huh. Let me see what's going on here. Wow, Leo, you are very strong, but you're going through a lot emotionally. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. And how is Leo currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, you see, this is you. You have good days and then you have bad days. But all in all, you are very strong, very resilient. This is victorious energy showing up here. Yeah, this is good. Chariot, this is you being a survival mode. Yeah. Wow. So this person still loves you, but they're not telling you or showing you or expressing it to you. Hidden love, unspoken love, unexpressed love. The person you're letting go of still loves you. But is guarding their heart, not expressing it, not communicating with you, not telling you how they feel, but they feel it deeply. They're trying to be very strong and not feel all these deep emotions, but they feel them. Yeah, this is them trying to balance their emotions, feelings. Yeah, this is them trying to figure out what's going on, why they still feel attached emotionally, even though the two of you are no longer together in a relationship. Wow. Both of you are going through a lot emotionally in this situation. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Leo that Leo has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time, especially emotionally? Wow, you see, this is them sad, heartbroken over losing this relationship. So even though they don't show it on the outside, inside, this is how they feel. They think that maybe you don't love them anymore. Maybe you let them go for good. Maybe you don't care. This is them trying to be patient with these uh, situations right now occurring in their life, including situation with you, um, to balance their emotions. They're very emotional right now. They want so badly to reach out, but they have been stopping themselves. They're not happy about losing you. They're not happy about not hearing from you. Yeah, they feel blocked. They feel like maybe you don't want to hear from them. Not happy about losing you. Yeah. Feeling emotionally unfulfilled. They checking up on you. Yeah, they are. They really are checking up on you. Curious how you're doing, how you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're planning. Universe, they are concerned. Yeah, they are concerned about you, about your emotional well-being, because they know that if they feel all these emotions, so do you. They're trying to figure out how you're coping out of concern, genuine concern. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo? You see? Yeah, this person really loves you still. Um, but this is unspoken love, unexpressed love, hidden love at this time. They're trying to figure out how to approach you, if to approach you, if it's not too late. Yeah, wow, look at this. So they're hiding, just like you are hiding uh, you don't want to show on the outside. They're doing the same thing. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. They don't want to show it on the outside. But yours showed up with bigger tarot deck. Theirs showed up with smaller tarot deck. They're trying to hide, not to show how deeply affected emotionally they are. They're very drawn to you, attracted to you. They view you as very attractive, independent, strong-willed. Admire you a lot. Yeah, this person admires you a lot. Oh, they're trying to be really strong and courageous in this situation. Yeah, they're very guarded emotionally with their heart. They're trying to figure out, do they reach out to you? Do they wait for you? Do they just move on? Which 
they're not able to because they feel this love and heartbreak at the same time. Oops. Okay. So these two are supposed to show up. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this is showing up twice. The two of you have uh, so lessons to learn from each other still. So if the two of you decide in this lifetime to use your free will in such a way where you let each other go for good, you're going to uh, see each other again in future incarnations. You see, so right now, this is how they feel about this relationship. They're not happy about losing you. But here, it when they look objectively at the history of this relationship between you two, it's been very turbulent. Uh, they feel, based on what transpired between you two recently and in the past, they feel that when you two get along, it's like a total bliss, heaven on earth. And then when the two of you do not get along, it's like the opposite of that. You see, it's like the two of you, for some reason, can't find a middle zone. Uh, like they they don't want the two of you going through these emotional roller coasters. They want a stable connection. And they feel that the two of you, no matter how much you try uh, is not happening in this relationship. They worried about that. In order to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Leo. No communication right now. Yeah, you have uh, unfinished soul lessons to learn from each other. You see this? Here is... So, traditionally speaking, justice, you only see one person, right? With a blindfold. But here you see two people. One with dark clothing on and the sword is pointing down. So there is the sword. Ace of Swords stands for communication, clarity. They feel there's a great need for the two of you to calmly discuss things. They feel like the two of you need to sit down and calmly discuss things. So there's no animosity between you two. Yeah, you see, this is them checking up on you heavily. They feel that... The two of you need to get together and discuss things calmly. Yeah, but whether this will happen or not will depend on the both of you, right? Your actions towards each other. We're going to go into your extended reading, Leo. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.